This is the third eye chakra, the sixth of all seven chakras in the body. Its domains are intuition, foresight, and abstract thinking. This chakra shapes our vision of reality and what we see as possible. Its emotional damage is confusion. Now damage or imbalance to this chakra can result in a distorted perception of the world. Healing this can bring us in line with reality. When this chakra is balanced, you'll possess a good memory and a powerful mind alongside excellent problem-solving skills and mental well-being. This chakra's element is the mind, as in a philosophical sense, the mind is treated as an element. The mind of each individual is connected and inhabits a shared space, much like the air that we breathe. Now I'm going to state a sentence, and I want you to really, really think about it. When you close your eyes and you daydream, when you visualize, or when you go to sleep and you have dreams, does the picture you visualize have colors and light? Does it? So, if your eyes are closed, where does the light in your so-called imagination come from? Okay, so let's talk about this from both a biological and a spiritual point of view, yeah? Okay, so this is our head, and you have the brain, and the pituitary gland, and the pineal gland. They tell us that our pineal gland is formed like an atrophied eye. If it's an atrophied eye, then why hide it under the brain? If it's supposed to see light, we know that eyes are very sensitive to light. So when the light hits our eyes, it can't hit it directly, of course, but when it does, it gets the information about light, it produces certain chemicals in the body. And when there is no light, it produces other chemicals in the body, such as melatonin that puts you to sleep. So, if our pineal gland is indeed an atrophied eye, then the logical place for it to be would be somewhere out there. If it's an organ that senses light, the logical place for it would be somewhere it can get light, or why would we need it to begin with when our two eyes can do it for us? Why have something that looks like an eye that gets information from outside, but at the same time, it's pointing downwards under the brain? We are speaking about light being created in our system. We create our own light. So, it is actually sensitive to our inner light. Let me give you an example. In Chinese medicine, you imagine the ear to be like an inverted fetus. And the points here, in treatment, they reflect every organ in your body. So your whole body is present in your ear. Now in ancient times, there was nothing called jewelry. At that time, people used things on their body for certain interactions with the forces of nature. So this point here, in Chinese, it's called the point of inner light. And if you put some crystals or diamonds here, that means you activate your inner light through resonance. Bear in mind that resonance isn't an external factor, but it is an internal factor that can be heightened by external factors. The priestesses had ways of activating their inner vision, one of which was putting any type of crystal or diamond in their ears, depending on what they wanted to do. In modern days, you could completely disrupt the functioning of your physical organs if you are not careful with what you do with yourself, as every, and I mean every, point in the body is related to a certain organ. We have evidence that the ancient Egyptians and Sumerians used piercings, and we have evidence that there was the use of tattoos in ancient times. But they chose the right symbols and the right shapes on the right spots. It wasn't them just playing around. So, if this inner vision, why here? If this is your inner vision, why is it looking down? There must be a reason, right? The heart is the place where you have the most blood in your body. So it's the center of a fiery element, and fire produces light. So the mystical connection of light that comes from the heart, which is perceived by the pineal gland, brings illumination in the mind then what's perceived out there with the visual center acts as a resonance to help aid the internal light, which means that your inner light is in harmony to the actual light you perceive in colors. 
When you do some meditation or when you pray, sometimes you can see that there is some slightly more light in your vision. So there is a link between the pineal gland, the heart, and the brain. So look at it this way. In order for you to perceive your reality, you must have working senses. That means your body must function before you can perceive a reality. So what runs your body? Is it from your perceived reality or from the outside? Your heartbeat, all the rhythms in your body. And when I say rhythms, I mean communication. The laws that governs life are not coming from your perceived reality. They are coming from the total reality. The whole universe is working through you. You make your own perceived reality. The sun is radiating energy. Energy that your brain converts into light. So in other words, you produce your own light. Now I'm going to repeat a sentence I said at the beginning of the video. When you close your eyes and you dream, or when you visualize, does the picture you visualize have colors and light? That means you produce your own light. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple madras to help balance this chakra. This first madra is used to energize your third eye and helps you to connect with your inner self alongside managing stress, and it also promotes awareness that leads to better insight and intuition. This next madra is beneficial for creative thinking, memory, attention, concentration, increasing oxygen to the brain, and treating various mental health issues, including depression and anxiety. This last mantra helps to strengthen your mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual consciousness. That's a very small summary of the third eye chakra with more to come. In our next video, we're going to be covering the crown chakra. So if this video has been informative to you in any way and you would like to know more, make sure that you subscribe, share, and hit that like button for more content.